Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Switch Tutorials, episode 4. So in this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to swap out your game files using Layered FS. Basically how to mod your games using Layered FS. So Layered FS is built into Atmosphere by default and it's enabled. And it essentially swaps out the game files. So you put some modified game files in a certain place. And Layered FS will swap out the original game files when you run the game with your modified ones. And you can do this on multiple games to do different texture replacements, sound replacements, play as different characters in Breath of the Wild or different characters in, in Mario Kart and stuff like that. But for games like Skyrim, you can do a hell of a lot. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lightsaber mod going right here in Skyrim. So you can get PC mods, full on PC mods running on Skyrim. So I'll be showing you guys that as well. So the first thing you need to do when modifying your game is find out what the title ID of your game is. So you can do that by going on tinfoil and going down to the tickets section and you can find the list of title IDs for the games you have installed right there. You can also head on to your computer and just search on Google for switch title IDs and then you'll find a list. This one here on GitHub is pretty good. And then just you know search for the name of your game so skyrim and your title id will be right there and it's the first 16 characters of the title id that you're after so for any game that isn't skyrim gamebanana.com is a good place to go to download different mods to use on layered fs so you can get a lot of texture replacements here for say mario kart 8 deluxe as an example and different model replacements so you can play as you know shadow and you can play as sonic different characters different game files texture replacements, sound replacements, that kind of thing. So you can download them from gamebanana.com. Um, for Skyrim though, you can of course download Skyrim PC mods from nexusmods.com slash Skyrim Special Edition. Now a lot of Skyrim mods need to be converted to work on the Switch. Some don't. Mods that just are that are just ESP files or are just ESP files and scripts, they'll work fine. They don't need to be converted. But for the ones that do need to be converted, you can go to nexusmods.com slash Skyrim Nintendo Switch, which is a specific um, section of Nexus mods that already have uh, PC mods pre-converted for you so that they will work just fine on the Nintendo Switch version. So one thing I would recommend downloading is the Skyrim NX Toolkit which can be used to convert PC mods to work on the Switch. I'm not going to cover that in this video. Um, we just need it here because it has the structure for uh, the files, the file structure that we need. So we'll download the NX Toolkit. Uh, but if you want to know how to fully convert PC mods to work on the Nintendo Switch version, then I have a video on that already, which I'll link uh, on screen and in the description. So I've downloaded the Magicka Sabers right here, the Magicka Sabers, the lightsaber mod and also Project AHO, which is like a full massive DLC sized mod for the game. And um, I've also, from the normal uh, Skyrim Special Edition, I downloaded the Potions of Ultimate Leveling and Cheating Chests, which um, don't need to be converted as well because they are uh, just scripts and an ESP file. So I've got all of that stuff downloaded, plus a couple of Mario Kart 8 model imports and a texture replacement. Let's actually look at how we install this. So first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is uh, get your SD card out of your Switch and connect it up to the computer. Okay, so we go into our SD card on the Switch and we go into the Atmosphere folder and the Titles folder. And this is where you put all of your mods. Now, as you can see, I've already got one here. I'll delete this so I can do this again from scratch. These folders have the title ID of the game. So you'll find that with most mods that you download, like the Shadow mod that I just downloaded for from Game Banana for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, already has the title ID folder in here for you. So you can just copy the entire folder into the titles folder, and now that mod will work when you go on the game. Um, Layered FS will detect that uh, you know, you're running the game that matches this title ID and then it will swap out the original Mario.SZS file with this one in this folder. So that's how that works. So if I wanted to do something else like Aquarium Park, uh, this has audio, this doesn't contain the actual, um, the actual title ID. That's why I told you guys to find the title ID yourself just in case the mods don't contain the title ID folder. You might have to create it yourself. So you create the folder and then you create the ROM FS folder and then you'd insert your, your modded data. So in this case, we have audio course and map objects. So I would just put them in here and then we have our mods. So that would now work in game as well. Then we also have uh, Sonic 
this is yeah Sonic over Metal Mario, so it, this just has the ROM FS folder. So you would, you would again, if you were just installing this mod, you'd have to create the the title ID folder, and then you could put the ROM FS folder in there. So we've got a, already got a ROM FS folder. So we've got driver and cart. So we already have a driver folder. So we'll go into the driver folder, copy the Metal Mario uh, SZS file in there, and then we can add the cart folder, which just goes in the root. And there we go. So we've installed three mods already. And now if you just go on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe while you're running Atmosphere, it should automatically swap all of these files out for you. And then you'll see that when you go to select your character, you'll have Sonic over Metal Mario and you'll have Shadow over um, regular Mario. So there you go. That's how that stuff works. But of course, Skyrim's more complicated. So um, these Skyrim mods I've downloaded, they don't actually contain the original title ID so I'll have to copy the title ID from uh, the one I found and create a folder with that title ID not sure if the uppercase matters but just in case we'll we'll change these letters to uppercase and there we go and then of course we need a ROM FS folder so we'll create a ROM FS folder and then in this folder um, we put our Skyrim mods, but we also, for Skyrim, you need to have a certain structure. So in order to get that for Skyrim, you need to download the Skyrim NX Toolkit, which um, again, I'll link it in the description, um, along with the other mods that I'm installing here. I'll link them all in the description on Nexus mods. So you'll need the Skyrim NX Toolkit because it actually has these default INI files, which has the the structure already built up for you. So you copy these files in here first from the NX toolkit, and then you can start installing your mods. So cheating chess Riverwood, it's just an ESP file. So that just goes in the data folder right here. Uh, git ignore, I'll just get rid of that. Um, and then you need to actually add this. Skyrim won't actually load these additional files because you're not replacing a file that already exists within the game. You're adding additional executable files um, and the, the game needs to know to run them for Skyrim. So in order to do that, you have to go into the Skyrim.ini. And then these S test files uh, are used to load these files. So you've got test file one, two, three are used to load the DLC. Test file four is used to load the, the Link costume that comes with the, the Nintendo Switch version of the game. So the rest of these test files can be used for your own custom mods that you want to add. So you just get rid of the semicolon and then you en enter the name of the mod .esp and save it. So there we go, that mod will now be loaded. In fact, if you don't use the link costume, you can actually remove this and replace it with uh, another one of your mods so you can add more. So there we go, that's that added right there and that should work in game now. So let's add a few more potions of ultimate leveling. This has a BSA file and an ESP file. So they both go in the data folder. So potions of ultimate leveling. And we of course add the ESP file into here, get rid of the semicolon and do ESP. But we also have to add the BSA file in here as well. So we scroll down, this has to be added in a separate section down where it says archive and you've got this handy comment to tell you here you put the BSA mod files. So S resource archive list is the one you want to add the BSA files to. So after the hyrule.bsa for the link costume, you just add comma, space, paste your BSA archive in here. Make sure you add the BSA extension at the end and save it. And there we go, that mod should now load properly in game as well. In fact, we can just leave this INI file open because we're going to be using it for the other mods. So then we have Sabres for Switch, which is the Magicka Sabres already pre-converted and ready to go from the um, Skyrim Switch section of Nexus mods. So I'm going to copy these over to the data folder because these have custom sounds and um, meshes and potentially animations and other kinds of things. So uh, they have you have to have the converted version of the mod, uh, which is fine. So it's already pre-converted, so we can just copy the name and of course add that in here as our s test file 7 paste this in .esp save it then we need to add these bsa archives so sabers.bsa so scroll down here add them in after our portions of ultimate leveling so comma space sabers.bsa comma space sabers dash meshes 
dot bsa and then comma space uh, sabers dash textures actually textures you can actually add textures into the the top line and they'll probably work but officially you're supposed to install them on the second line down here um, where the other textures are so you do dash textures dot bsa and you're also supposed to add them if you're adding them into the, the second line you're also supposed to add them into the the language file ini file so whichever one represents your language. So for me, that would be the English version. So I would open Skyrim en.ini and add the texture file to the end of this line as well. So there you go, sabers texture.bsa. So next we're gonna add project aho, which is the big DLC um, mod. It's basically a DLC, it's huge. It's got custom animations, meshes, textures, scripts, sounds, all kinds of stuff, which is already pre-converted for us. Um, so we're just going to drag and drop all these files over. All right, so it's copied over here. So I'm going to copy the ESP file and add that into the Skyrim.ini. So get rid of this semicolon, paste this in, .esp, and then the BSAs go down here. So we add comma uh, dwarf sphere .bsa, and then dwarf sphere dash meshes dot bsa and then there's the textures as well which goes in this line down here so dwarf sphere dash textures dot bsa and then we'll copy the name save this and we'll open up the english version and add our textures to the end here all right there we go so that is all the mods uh, converted. So that's how you convert the Skyrim mods and get them installed. So LayerDFS will swap the original files out for these. Okay, so now we're ready. All we have to do is unplug the SD card and plug it back into the switch, boot into our custom firmware, and it, whenever we run Skyrim, it should load these mods up. Okay, so finally, before we go over to the switch, if you go back into the atmosphere folder and you open the loader.ini file, this override key is the key that's used to enable layered fs so right now it's exclamation mark l so that means when you don't hold down the l key layered fs will be enabled if you do hold down the l button on your joy con then it will be disabled so you can change this to any other key you can remove the exclamation mark which means holding down l will enable layered fs and not holding down l will disable it but it's worth checking what the override key is because in future versions of atmosphere it might be different okay so here we are back on the switch so i'm just going to launch skyrim now i would show you mario kart 8 deluxe um but because nintendo are basically uh copyright claiming any videos any modding videos of like homebrew on the switch if you have any footage of a game that's published by nintendo in the video then they'll what they're doing is they're claiming it and then using that to block the video worldwide um obviously it's complete a completely false claim and you know fair use and all that but obviously they don't care about fair use so because of that i can't really show you you'll just have to take my word for it that it will work on mario kart 8 deluxe the custom um skins and stuff that we installed that should all be working um, but I can show you Skyrim because that's obviously published by Bethesda, not Nintendo. So we should be okay with uh, showing Skyrim working here. All right, so here we are back in the game. And if we head to items, go to my weapons, I still have my Magicka Sabers working right here. There we go. So yep, that mod works absolutely fine. Now obviously I've already installed these mods before and I've gone to the location where these mods spawn and I've picked the weapons up because you know they're not automatically placed in your inventory so you have to you know find where the location where the mod spawns at and uh, go there and pick it up. Um, so potions of ultimate leveling I also have equipped but it's inside the sleeping giant inn. There's um, an alchemy lab there with a satchel of hearts that you use to create the potion. So you can find that in there. Also the cheating chests are dotted around R Riverwood here, as you can see. Got a bunch of stuff in here. You can just take as much as you want. Um, so yeah, let's do potions of ultimate leveling because I want to see if the big mod, the Project AHO one uh, that's pre-converted, if that actually works. Now you need to be level 15 in order for that to work, which is why I installed the potions of ultimate leveling. So if we 
enable that potion of ultimate leveling and boom there we go we've leveled up so i just need to get to level 15 so if i go up here level up and there we go level 15. so now this should trigger the project aho um pre like massive dlc mod um so let's go back ah boom there we go i just had to wait a certain amount of time and be outside of the area I was just trying to get the, the freaking mod to start. There we go. All right, welcome to Project AHO. And again, just to be sure, look, we're on the switch. Definitely on the switch. I'm ready. Okay, so I have to take a trip to Skyrim. So what? In other words, fast travel. I mean, Riverwood's right over there, so this should load pretty fast, hopefully. So, hmm... Um, I mean, I took a trip to... Oh, there he is. Hey, the mod's working. Okay, let me... Sorry for the echo, but I want to hear this myself as well. You, the one whom the prophecy speaks of. It is you. Come hither, chosen one. I must lay my eyes on you. Wow, it's got the voices working and everything. It does say the lip syncing doesn't work yet, so that's why that doesn't work. But I mean, come on. <laughs> it's still pretty damn impressive this is running on Switch. Um, I'm listening. I am your Gogro Shack. Now, I did try to convert this mod myself from the PC version before there was a Switch version, and it kind of got stuck. Wake up, you scum! You're as obedient as a dog with these amulets around your necks. It got stuck here. Pray that you aren't sold to a local. Every N1 Sadra of Kegran has their tongue cut out, lest they ask one too many questions. Ah, it works. There you go. So, so to be clear, when I tried to convert this myself from the PC version, it would get stuck there. It wouldn't do the animation where you, you start walking and following. It's basically like a cutscene. Um, it wouldn't trigger that. Uh, so that was kind of the issue. I could never get past it. But obviously this is professionally converted by, I think, the developers who made the mod themselves. So they've got it working a lot better at it than me, clearly. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I mean, as you can see, this is a, this is basically a full DLC um, running on the Nintendo Switch. So that kind of just gives you an idea of, you know, the scale of mods that you can convert mark your on enemy for death the Switch. They mark you. Damn. With all custom voices and everything. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically it. That is how you use Layered FS to modify the game files of your games. And uh, yeah, you can Skyrim, you can do a ton of stuff with Skyrim with all the PC mods that are available. But even for other games like Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8, you can you know swap out your character with different skins and models and stuff and different texture replacements and sound replacements. So um, yeah, there's still a lot you can do with uh, Layered FS, but that's not the only modding uh, you can do on the Switch. There's other ways to mod your games. You can mod your save files. You can modify the game's memory uh, through like a cheat engine type program. So I'll be showing you guys that in a, another episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next episode.